Are we alone in the universe? Whether the thought of alien life sends shivers down your spine or makes you jump for joy, you have probably asked yourself this question at some point. Astrobiologists study life in the universe, looking for the answer both in outer space and right here on Earth. To recognize signs of life elsewhere, we need to learn more about it. And there is no better or more accessible lab to do that than our own planet. Humans, as well as most animals and plants, are pretty fragile beings that require very specific conditions to survive. But some life on Earth is not as hard to please as we are. Astrobiologists are looking at simpler forms of life, microorganisms called extremophiles, that can thrive in extremely harsh conditions, a bit like those found in planets and moons elsewhere in our solar system. One of the most inhospitable environments where we have found life is the Dalol Crater, located in the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia, the hottest place on Earth. You wouldn't expect to find creatures prospering in its bubbling lakes of boiling water, acid pools or sulphur spouts, but extremophiles can inhabit these environments. Scientists are using this alien-like world as a field site to find out how life might arise on other planets, such as Mars. Earlier in its history, the red planet was a lot warmer and wetter, resembling the Earth when life first emerged here. Mars missions have shown that liquid water used to be abundant on the planet's surface and have discovered organic molecules, the building blocks of life. Life could indeed have flourished on the red planet at some point in its history. The minerals and water chemistry in Rio Tinto in southern Spain resemble the wet environments on early Mars. This is another site scientists are using to understand what kind of life could have emerged on the red planet and how biosignatures could still be preserved there. The briny Tires Lake in central Spain has features like those found in one of Jupiter's moons, Europa. This is one of the most likely locations to find life in the solar system because it is believed to have a sea of salty liquid water underneath its icy crust. By studying the extremophiles that inhabit the Tires Lake, astrobiologists can find out what kind of creatures could possibly lurk in Europa's ocean. There could also be life in the solar system in an environment very different to anything we can find on Earth. Titan, the largest moon of Saturn, is much like our planet. It has a dense, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and liquids flow freely on its surface. However, Titan's lakes, rivers and seas are made of liquid hydrocarbons, methane and ethane. Any life existing on the surface of this moon would need to use these solvents in place of water, an exotic chemistry compared to organisms found on our planet. Life as we know it could well be found outside our solar system. Over the past two decades, astronomers have discovered thousands of planets orbiting stars other than the Sun. Many of these extraterrestrial planets are in their star's habitable zone, a range of orbits also called Goldilocks zone after the children's fairy tale. The little girl with golden locks hit the sweet spot when she found baby bear's porridge, which was neither too hot nor too cold for her. Goldilocks planets are neither too hot nor too cold to have liquid water at the surface. The conditions are just right to harbor life. Astronomers think some of these planets could be very similar to Earth and may meet the requirements for life to thrive. But habitable is not the same as inhabited. Future telescopes and space missions could allow us to analyze these planets' atmospheres in enough detail to find the chemical signatures that suggest that living beings might be present. Are we alone in the universe? We might be just a few decades or even just a few years away from finding out.